Hi, I'm Mordechai Becher, and uh, welcome to the Gateways Parsha vlog. Uh, this week's uh, Parsha is Tzav, but I want to focus much more on the Shabbat, uh, and the Shabbat is actually called Shabbat Hagadol, the Great Shabbos. And it's been a custom literally for about a thousand years, possibly more than that, for rabbis of communities, actually probably not more than a thousand years, but probably around a thousand, for rabbis of communities to give a special speech on that Shabbat afternoon uh, called the Shabbos Hagadol Drosha, a special speech um, on the Shabbos preceding Pesach. And what is the focus of that speech? So it's interesting, um, much of the focus is supposed to be about Pesach and the laws of Pesach. There's a lot of complex laws about Pesach. It's not, uh, it's not a simple uh, festival to keep, the cleaning of the house, the avoidance of chametz, the laws of the Seder and the proper conduct. There's a tremendous amount of stuff that has to be taken care of, and that's very often what the rabbis uh, focus on. But I was looking through the various droshes of rabbis throughout history, and uh, looking especially at the droshes of, uh, there are some which have been preserved very beautifully, the Hassam Sofer of, uh, and uh, Ramosha Sofer of Pressburg, Rav um, Yecheska Landau of Prague, Nod of Yehuda, and others. And what is fascinating is that a lot of what they focus on are issues that are problems in the community. Uh, that people are not fulfilling certain commandments, people are behaving in certain ways which are not appropriate, and they use this as an opportunity to try to improve the community, not an opportunity to show the depth of their knowledge and the breadth of their knowledge and to give some type of incredible, uh, mind-blowing class that uh, people would come away from and say, oh, that was amazing, but rather to actually give people uh, direction in how to act and how to behave. In my uh, life, the best Shabbos Hagodal Drosha I ever heard was when I was uh, staying in London for a Pesach. I was in Yeshiva uh, in Israel, and I believe it was 1980. I spent uh, Shabbos in London. I have many friends from London, still do, and I spent Pesach in London. I went to Hendon Adas, it's a shul in England, in Golders Green, or Hendon to be more correct, and the rabbi was Rabbi Roberts. I don't know if he's still rabbi there, but Rabbi Roberts gave the most incredible drasha. And his entire focus was on the fact that uh, grocers and uh, various suppliers of Pesach products and foods, uh, he had come to his knowledge that many of them were not paid by people. People would, would take stuff and on account and on credit and would not pay till well after Pesach. This had happened the previous year. And his entire drosha was focused on the obligation to pay your bills before Pesach. He said the people who supply and who run the stores and sell the meat and sell the fish, etc., etc., he says, he says they need to eat as well. And I was very impressed because I was impressed because what he said was really nothing to do with what we call the ritual laws of Pesach. It was to do with the mitzvahs between one person and another. And the mitzvah of paying a debt, the mitzvah of ensuring that your fellow Jew should have the means to live on Pesach, and that was the entire focus. And I remember very clearly he, said, he told about a person in his, in his community who'd sent the chauffeur in the rolls to pick up the groceries. And the chauffeur picked up the groceries in the Rolls Royce, and he says, but did not leave a check. He says, oh, yes, put it on our account, we'll pay afterwards. And so here are these people who have to pay back their wholesalers, the suppliers, and they have to also do a Pesach of their own, and yet here they are without funds for Pesach. I thought that was a very on-the-spot message, and that really is one of the main messages. You look through the Torah so many times when the Torah mentions uh, laws of honesty, laws of fulfillment of obligations, don't cheat one another in business, don't use false weights and measures, don't lie, don't oppress the widow, the orphan, the poor, the stranger, etc. The Torah always reminds us that that is Zecher because God took you out of Egypt. So yeah, he took us out of Egypt, a society based on oppression, taking advantage of people, uh, injustice, etc. And when he took us out, he wanted us to be a very, very different society from that. That's a central message of Pesach, and that's the message I heard from Rabbi Roberts in England, and that's a message which I see in the writings of Rabbi Cheska Landau and others, and that's, uh, that's uh, what my Shabbos Hagodol vlog uh, is, is that, that uh, we, uh, here we are out of Egypt, and as uh, a great Jewish philosopher once put it, 
right, God took us out of Egypt, we've got to take Egypt out of us. And the mitzvot are there to take Egypt out of us. And in those mitzvot, we have obligations to other people, we owe them money, or we owe them a job, or etc. whatever it happens to be. Right, this is part of the obligation of Pesach, to act not like the ancient Egyptians, to take advantage of my superior status in some way. I've got power over you, uh, so I misuse that power. Uh, the fact that someone has uh, has that type of power and misuses it, no matter what it is, whether it's an employer, whether it is a creditor, whether it, whatever it happens to be, um, the misuse of power to oppress the person who is who is inferior, who doesn't have that power, who is less fortunate, whatever, that is a repetition of the slavery in Egypt. And if we come out of Egypt, just to remember that one lesson, it would dayenu, it would be worth it. Have a great Pesach. Thank you very much for watching. This is Mordechai Becha with the Gateways Parsha vlog. We will see you after Pesach, because I will not be doing one on Pesach. <laughs>